I haven't seen anything in an hour. What's the trip computer say, Dad? 100 miles. No problem. There's gas in less than 50. Fill it with premium, please. Self-serve. No premium. Hey. I'd like one of these. What'd it cost? Well, they're not cheap. <laughs> about as big as my trailer and a hell of a lot nicer. What do you think? Cow? Maybe like some geriatric cow. Roadkill. Three days old. Disgusting. All right, you guys. You don't like it. Don't eat it. We've got stuff in the car. Is there something wrong with the food? No, no. Uh, the food's fine. We just weren't that hungry. Can we have the check? So, where exactly is this ghost town? Mining town. I don't even know if it's still there. Check it out. Ethan's dad had this map from the 40s or something, and the town Weaver is on the old map, but it's not on any of the new ones. Could be really cool. Don't you have enough pictures of falling down buildings and rusty junk? Come on, Dad. Wasn't that the deal? We'd all do the whole family adventure thing, but if any of us want a side trip, we'd do it. And it looks like the turnoff's only a couple miles from here. So... How far is this motel tonight? About 200 miles. I've got to check in with the office, so you guys figure it out. I'm with you either way. That's what, three hours? You want to get there at 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and then what, we watch TV? I want to swim. You'll swim, just later. Come on, Dad, we're never going to be here again. We'll see. Supposedly an old mining town called Weaver. It's up in the hills not too far from here. You ever heard of it? Billy, you know anything about a town called Weaver? Can't help you there, mister. Yeah, well, it's on this old map. Never heard of it. A... How was your meal? Great. That was great. I didn't expect that from the discount. No. Is Arthur happy with his tour schedule? Mm-hmm. She's always on the phone, Dad. Oh, well, she is now. She's got two books coming out next week. Maybe she should have stayed home. Listen, Katie, Patty's a member of the family now. She's putting a lot of effort into making this work, including taking off at a bad time. So cut her a little slack, will you? Sorry. That's all right. Excuse me. We're trying to get to Weaver, a little mining town. We got a map says there's a turnoff a couple miles down the road. Weaver? Mm, I don't know any Weaver. Oh. Want some advice? Stay on the pavement. What's that mean? What I said. Right. Thanks.
man and she wondered why we weren't eating the food. Burnt enough for you? Because we can incinerate that puppy a little more. They probably cruise the highway every morning looking for the lunch special. Yeah, but if it's really flattened, it's hard to get the hair out. Oh, gross. Oh, gross. That place was weird. Close encounter of the weird kind. Keep your eye out, Dad. Should be right up here somewhere. Yeah, looks like there's a road right up here. Um... How far is this ruin supposed to be? According to the map, it should be just in those hills. About 35 miles. 35 miles? You really want to photograph this place? I'm psyched. Well? Well, let's go to Weaver. <laughs> All right. Fatty rocks. Here you go. Check it out. Looks like an old plane. Can we go look? Yeah, no problem. How long has this been here, Dad? Oh, long time. Sixties, maybe. It's amazing. Probably ran out of gas. You don't just nose in like this if you run out of gas. You glide it in and try to land it. Hmm. Yeah. If you came straight in, it'd be in a thousand pieces. Yeah. Maybe it was nighttime and their instruments were broke. I didn't even know they were going down until it hit. Come on, guys, let's go. You want to know pictures, man? Yeah. This is so cool. It's like one second you're alive and then wham, you're toast. Not so cool if you're the toast. Oh, come on, Matt. Let's go. I bet it didn't even hurt. I want to make sure they hold the room. Well, if this mining town exists and you look around for about an hour, you ought to make the motel around 9 o'clock. Okay. No? Completely dead. Must be the mountains. Hey, look at this. We're heading east, right? Yeah. A couple miles ago, the compass said we were heading east. Now it says we're heading south. We haven't changed direction. Oh, there we go. Oops, and now it dies altogether. You are entering a world where compasses go crazy. Airplanes fall from the sky. Cell phones don't work. <laughs> a world where... Morons are still morons. This is way cool. I can't believe no one back at the diner knew about this. Maybe they did. Yeah, they don't want tourists ripping it off. Well, I didn't see any signs. Nothing that said no trespassing. 
Wow. know about it. I mean, it's not on any of the new maps. That's hard to believe. Sure doesn't look like anybody's been here. Why would everyone just leave? This whole mountain looks like an old mine. Hey, guys, come look at this. What's up with this? Looks like they just walked away and never came back. Hey, a manual typewriter. Oh, I haven't seen one of these in a while. Hey, Ethan, why don't you take some of this and see if anything happens? I don't think so. You sure? Yeah, but you go right ahead. Don't even joke, guys. Hey, if anyone's hungry, I think they're still serving next door. Furniture was still out. Kitchen, dishes, everything. But that was a state park. They have rangers living there to make sure nothing is disturbed. This calendar is from 1948. That was 54 years ago. I thought it was like 1800s or something. Well, that's when it was built, but electric lighting genius. So after lunch one day, everyone just left? Hey, Dad, I'm going to take some pictures over here, okay? Yeah, just be careful, will you? The floor in here is not that stable. What is it? I don't know. Skin is something. Yeah, but what? Don't do that. Just leave it alone, okay? Look how they painted on it and stuff. Let's just get out of here. It's time to go anyway, so let's not worry about it, okay? But that was a skin, Dad. And it was, like, put there on purpose. I saw a movie where they had weird stuff like bones in a house. And then a guy with a chainsaw, and he Ethan. went around... Sorry. Funny, Dad. I'm not joking, Matt. 
Huh. Lights are off. Transmission's in park. Well, let's take a look. Looks like an engine. Yeah, that would be my guess too. Do you know what the problem is? Hmm. Car won't start. Tell me we're not spending the night here. Matt, pass me the cheese there. This wasn't so bad. It worked out pretty good. What exactly is vapor lock, Dad? Well, it's, uh... Well, it's, uh... Uh, kind of heat car thing. When you drive for a while, like we did today, and then stop, vapor can accumulate in the fuel line. Yeah. The only thing you can do is wait until it dissipates. Right. Hopefully it'll start up first thing in the morning. It's that word that worries me. What word? Hopefully. What do you know about all that stuff, Patty? The great thing about being an editor. We put out the Fool's Guide to Car Repair. I've had to read them all. Cool. Hey. Look what I found. This is behind a box. It's all dirty. That'll play ours? Yeah. Let's take a look. Hey, that's the place we stopped. There's our waitress. <laughs> hey, that store's here. Uh-huh. <laughs> I know, that's great. <laughs> Can you believe this? This is wild. Ryan's been missing for over an hour. We've been looking and we'll keep looking, but the car won't start, and I don't know why. It was just me now. Everybody's gone. Rachel and Brian and Steve. just be a joke. The one guy that was missing, maybe he's playing a practical joke on the others, trying to scare them. They're dead. I don't think. You don't know. What do you know? Cut it out, Katie. Don't use that tone of voice. Fine. Sorry. That looked plenty real to me. And something was after her. How do we know it's not still here? Yeah. All yeah. right, everybody just cool, okay? Now, we don't know that anything's here, and we don't know what that tape is. Well, what could it be? Well, it could be a, a student film. Or, or, like Patty said, it could be a practical joke to somebody left behind. I mean, there's any number of explanations for it. It's a... Well, look, whatever it is, what, what happened on that tape happened a long time ago. Absolutely. Look at this. How long do you think this has been sitting here? One, two years, even longer. 
That's right. And there's no sign anybody's been in this town. There's not a footprint out there, not a tire track. There's no trash blowing around in the street, so I don't want you guys whipping yourself up over nothing, okay? All right, so let's, uh, let's lay our sleeping bags out on the floor. Get a good night's sleep, and tomorrow morning we'll be out of here, okay? Get to it. Come on. This is bad, man. I don't care what your dad says. You sound scared. You scared? Hell no. I didn't know you had a gun. Yeah, well, I, I keep it in the garage. I only brought it along because, well, I, in case it broke down or something. And... You still should have told me. Right. Sorry. So right about now, I wouldn't argue against it. That tape, pretty scary. I don't think that girl was acting. Well, if she was, she's really good. I can't imagine that whoever was after them would still be here. No. No, not after so much time. Then we have nothing to worry about. Right. So you went to get the gun because... I hate to be wrong. Let's go. I don't know. Sometimes I don't get it. I know. But Matt's older. I think he just hides it better. Yeah, well, okay, he doesn't. <laughs> but she's such a sweet kid. Where does that attitude come from? From being 12? <gasps> it's hard enough when your mom dies and your dad remarries. It's tough. It was five years ago. Mm. Uh, I was sort of hoping that this trip would be a... I don't know. A bonding thing? Yeah, you know. New family creates new memories. Oh. Well, we're definitely doing that. Oh, no. Oh, oh Philip. No, just leave it. It's okay.
it's me, it's me, it's me. Everything's okay. It's me, it's me, it's just me. Everything's okay. I don't think. Oh, no, it's nothing up there. Nothing to be afraid of. Don't be scared. You were scared. Well, I, I heard this noise. I went up there to check it out. It's, it's nothing, just a, a wind blowing against the windows. What did you yell? Well, it's, it was just this, this owl. It came out of it. Kind of surprised me, that's all. Look, everything's all right. Just get back in your bags now. Let's go back to bed. Come on. Are you sure? Yeah, 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 I'm sure. Come on, everything's fine. That's all right. Go back to sleep. You can have anything you want. I want pancakes. Any place with that diner. Well, if you can wait until the next town, so can I. Why are you guys even packing? Because we're out of here. If the car starts. Now think positively, Katie. Dad, your car's gone. I don't get it. I would have heard something. Where are the keys? Somebody stole the car, and that's it. I don't believe it. They, they must have followed us here and then somehow disabled the car while we were looking around. So why didn't we hear the car start last night? I don't think they started it. No, I think they, they slipped it into neutral and then pushed it down the street onto a trailer. It's probably halfway to Mexico by now. We're not going to be able to walk out of here as a group. I know. Matt, I want you to stay here with Patty and Kate. Ethan, you'll come with me. Is that okay? That's cool. Dad, that gas station must be 35 miles back. Well, I said we go back by the road, but if we cut straight across the desert, it should be more like 20. 20's nothing. Yeah, we ought to be able to get there in, uh, I don't know, six, seven hours. This is a bad idea. Another bad idea. We should stick together. Everybody high cap. Hun, 20 miles is a long way. Now, if someone can't make it, then we're all in trouble. Ethan and I ought to be able to go faster than the group. We're going to be skinned and nailed to the wall. Nobody's ever going to know. Hey, sweetie. Whoever was here last night was here for the car, not for us. Now they're gone. Katie. 
Nothing bad's gonna happen. Promise. And your dad will be back before you know it. Before you know it. The water bottle's still inside? Yeah. I don't anticipate any trouble. If I did, I wouldn't leave you here. I want you to leave the gun. You hate guns. You ever use one? Yeah. My dad used to take me to the range. I don't like guns. But I can shoot. Trust me. What else don't I know? Oh. Well. Lots. I know it's our best option. But I don't like you going off. So. Get back fast, okay? Five years ago, September. Listen, if you want to take a break, we can stop any time, huh? It's okay. I didn't know Matt then. He talks about her a lot, though. Yeah? Just how great his mom was and how he misses her and stuff. He never says how she died. Did you ever ask him? He just says she got sick. That was an aneurysm. Happened really quick. Uh, sorry about that, Mr. Oh. Don't move. Oh, man. No, no. no. Just don't move. Just don't move a muscle, all right? Just get it away from me. No, just don't talk. No! Ah! I got bit! I got bit! Ah! My batteries are dead. Duh. You only use them 24-7. Are we just gonna sit here all day? Fact is, if someone's after us, they could get us just as good sitting inside as they could walking around outside. But Dad said there was no one here anyway. We stick together, all right? Please. You're not gonna die. You weren't bitten. Yeah, I was. This is your lucky day. Got your wallet. Some of these are really old. This one's from 1850. Great epitaph. Listen, poorly lived and poorly died, poorly buried and no one cried. Cool. I get that. People didn't live very long back then. Some of these guys were dead in their 20s. Mm-hmm. Well, mining was dangerous work.
think Dad might have been wrong about that tape. Come on, let's go. That was weird. Those colors, it wasn't a rattlesnake. No. What do you think it was? I don't know. I've never seen anything like it. I don't think so. Well, what is it? It's not a mirage. We're too close. Huh. Dad shouldn't have left us. Somebody killed those people, and it wasn't too long ago. Matt, we don't know that anybody killed anybody. Yeah, we do. It was on tape. I'm not a kid, Patty. I'm not saying you are. And let's not pretend that everything's cool, because it's not. So not. Okay. But a grave does not mean murder. Hey, if nobody's here, no problem. And that's our assumption. We, we haven't seen or heard anything here, right? We have no reason to think, other than being spooked by some graves, that somebody else is here. Well, what's the plan if we're not alone? Your dad didn't leave us without protection. Now, I don't think we're going to need it. But if we do, we'll be glad we have it. You sure? Uh, it's glass. Why'd somebody put glass out in the desert? Ground Zero, site of the first successful detonation of a neutron device, September 21, 1948. Atomic Energy Commission. Is that like an atomic bomb? Sort of. Wouldn't it have leveled that old town? No. Neutron bomb was a radiation device. It was designed to kill people, leave the building standing. No way. Yeah. Yeah, it was massive amounts of radiation. They never used it. So where's this glass come from? Well, we're standing right where the bomb exploded. Ground zero. Intense heat from the detonation must have... must have turned the sand into glass. Wow. Are we, like, getting radiated now? No, that was... It's over 50 years ago. You think that's what killed everybody in the town? No, I'm sure they were evacuated. I just can't figure out why they left so much stuff behind. Come on. You've been walking about three hours. We gotta make time. Let's go. No. No, he said he'd be back in the afternoon sometime. He should be back by now. He's only been gone five hours. If he's not back by sundown, we walk back out. Straight down the road to the diner. That's 35 miles. But it will be dark, it won't be so hot, and, and we'll just take it easy. It's a bad idea. Who knows what the hell's out there? Who knows what the hell is here? Stop it, both of you! Now, I may just be your stepmother, but I'm the adult, and I will decide what we do and when we do it. You guys got that? I got it. You are just my stepmother. Never tried to be anything else, Kate. Now, if you two can coexist for a moment, I'm gonna go find a ladies' room such as it is. Good luck. Thanks. I'll let you know what I decide when I get back.
long way down. Can I have some more water? That's the last of it. Should be getting closer. Another hour? Maybe. Two at the most. Don't need to carry that anymore. No way that's not real. Hey, should be back by now. to her she didn't go far okay let's not panic let's just check each of these buildings patty where are you patty Getting close. I bet we can see the gas station from the top. Yeah, I bet we can. I'm going to see. Watch your step.
Ethan! Ethan? Ethan? Ethan! Ethan! What the hell was that? Jim's. No, no. Patty! Patty! Patty, where are you? Patty! Come on, let's try the other side. I thought I heard something. I didn't. Patty! She's somewhere in there.
don't care. I'm coming down. Don't come down here! She's really scared. You go. Hurry up, you guys! Matt, go now. He disappeared. He just vanished, all right? He, he went up this little hill. He went down the other side. I was right behind him. When I got there, he was gone. What happened out there? I know. We hiked in a straight line. I know it. We ended up right where we started. We have to look for him, Dad. We will. I, I think we get to the police and we... We gotta... can't leave him! I don't know where he is. <sighs> Look, I'm sorry. We'll get to a phone, we'll call the sheriff. They'll organize a search party. It's gonna be dark in an hour. They'll know how to cover the most ground. Dad, what's in that town? I don't know. I don't know. I need to use your phone. Use it all you want. But the line's dead. Dad, you gotta come now. Let's get out of here.
Of course, I understand your concern, but I really think it's best if we just wait until sunrise. Then I'll have everybody out there, and we'll find him. Well, why not now? He's a 16-year-old boy. Okay, look. The desert is a very big place, Mr. Henley. Now, the odds of finding him in the dark are extremely slim. Especially given the confusion you seem to have over the exact location. No, I, mean, I am not confused. It's it, two or three miles west of Weaver. I told you that. Okay. I am going to take at face value that you've got a boy lost out there in the desert tonight. But you've got to understand what you sound like. Now, first of all, there is no Weaver. Not that I know of. There was no town out there where the people walked out in 1948 and never returned. Look, I was just there. My family and I, we were just in the town. Well, see, there you go. You keep talking about these things you say attacked you, but you didn't see them. You can't even tell me whether they were human beings. You want to verify this with my wife? She's across the street getting food for the kids. Now, come on. We are not desert wackos. I can see that. But I can also see that you've had a very long, exhausting hike through a hot desert in the middle of the day. Come on, let's just stay focused, okay? You got your 16-year-old boy lost out there in the desert. I promise you, at sunrise, I'll have men on horseback, I'll have ATVs, I'll have a fixed-wing aircraft searching the desert looking for your boy, and we'll find him, probably by 8 a.m. Rich, could I borrow you for a sec? Okay. I'll be right back, Mr. Henley. Hey, mister. Over here. That's us. I'll get it. Something wrong? all these people didn't want to be evacuated so they hid out in the mines under the town and they got all this, this radiation and what's out there now is their offspring all mutated and weird and barely human and the animals the monsters and then and there's some people say that that ain't right that the town was built on some kind of sacred Indian burial site, and it's the spirits of the dead coming back to home. Supernatural. You ever hear of Area 51? You mean that, that sci-fi, that uh, government research thing? That doesn't exist. Doesn't exist. Officially. But I see it. Some kind of research out there with ETs and aliens. They've got a big hangar and some kind of crash spacecraft, and they salvage some of the bodies out of it. Wait, wait you think it's aliens? I didn't, I didn't say that. Yeah, well, what are you saying? I'm saying you should just get in your car and, and drive out of here. Don't, don't look back. Just go. 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 Just go. <laughs> 
know. It's her, I swear. She's the girl on the videotape. Patty, you go. Please. I'll go. Help you? Oh, we need some ketchup. Was someone else working here before? Becca, she just got off. Why? Nothing. My sister took the order. She thought... Nothing. There's a motel at the end of Main Street. I called, and uh, there's a room waiting for you there. Thanks. You try and get some sleep, okay? Uh, sunrise is at uh, 5.45. We'll be leaving then, and... Well, if you be here, you can ride with me. Listen, my son has photographs. That town is there. Let's just try and find Ethan first. You can go looking for your ghost town after that. Deal? 545. He was talking to me. I, w I wasn't talking to him. I didn't say anything to him. Come on. Let's go. I don't care what you think. I know what I saw. Dad, the girl from the video, the one we thought was dead. Well, she's not. She's working at the drive-in. Here? Yeah, she made her food. Kate picked up the order when our number was called. The girl... Was the same one on that tape. Where? Which one is she? I already checked it out. She's not there now. She just got off work. She was there. I saw her. Okay, okay, I believe you. That's a good thing, right? I mean, she's not dead. What about Ethan? Are they going out? Sunrise. Full on search. Airplanes and everything. Dad, we can't just leave him there all night. If they're not going to go, then we have to go now. Look, I hear you, but we'd never find him at night, and I'm not taking any of you back out there, okay? We should call his parents. They're out of town till Sunday. They drove up to San Francisco. All right. I forgot. Well, then I'll leave a message for them when we get to the motel. Well, let's hope we can leave another one in the morning that says everything's okay. Sound asleep. They're exhausted. <sighs> you should come to bed too, Jim. No. I won't sleep. I'm fine. No, you're not. <sighs> I just keep thinking. I, I keep seeing it. I mean, I was right behind him. And then he was gone. I can't believe no one knows about that town. I can't believe that deputy doesn't know. Yeah, well, I got a feeling he does. First thing is to find Ethan and get the hell out of here. And then we talk to the FBI, the state police, whoever. How many cars did you see out there in the desert? Um, 20, maybe 30. 
There could be people missing from every one of them. I better get going. And shoot me first. For God's sake. You can't just leave me. I do the same for you. Sorry, Lester. You okay, hon? I think something was just at the window. I looked. It was gone. <sighs> I don't want to be here, Dad. You know, we can't leave Ethan. And they're gonna go searching for him in the morning, so... Dad, take us out of this town. I don't like it. Feels weird. They're gonna search for Ethan at sunrise, right? Take us to the next town. You can drive back in the morning and search with them. Just do this for me, please. So, where do you think? Wyndham. About an hour east. All right. Looks like a cop, Dad. Well, we're going the speed limit. Jim. There's no reason for him to pull us over. You should stop, Dad. What are you doing?
Didn't think you were gonna stop. Oh, sorry, I was, I was fooling with the radio and... Kinda late to be leaving town, isn't it? Oh, well, we're not leaving town. We, well, I'm just taking the family over to Wyndham, then I'm right back to help with the search. Motels here aren't that bad, are they? Well, it, it's not really the... It's all right. But you won't need to come back in the morning for the search. Why is that? Because there's nobody out there in that desert. Not anymore. We found him. Heath. Oh, Heath. God, you're all right. Hey, man. Hey, how you doing? I'm okay. Really tired. Yeah, what happened out there? You went over that hill. I was there in a second and you were gone. I slipped. In my head, I guess. Looks like it fell down a small ravine. Ravine? I practically followed in his footsteps. I would have seen that. Well, we call them blind falls. You don't see them till you're in them. You can walk right by one and not even know it. Ethan. How's your head now? It's okay. A little sore. I had a paramedic check him out. He's a little tired, a little dehydrated. How'd you find him? Well, like I said, I wasn't planning on mounting a search until the morning, but uh, well, I sent a couple of men out in ATVs just in case we got lucky. Can we go now? Well, we sure don't want you around here. Let's go back to the motel. We're all pretty tired. Let's go. can't thank you enough. You guys did a great job. And like I said, we just got lucky. Uh, Mr. Henley, about that uh, town you talked about, if you want to go out in the morning, I'd, uh, I'd like to see it. Uh, I got a feeling my family wants to get home next time through. Thanks again. Well, that's what we're here for. You have a safe trip now. Well, guys, push on to Wyndham or back to the motel. We already have a room. I'm still not sure why we left the hotel in the first place. Kate? I don't want to be in this town. Anywhere near this town. Can we just go? Ethan? Whatever. First thing in the morning, we go to a one-hour place and get Matt's film developed. Right. Jim, if you were walking right behind Ethan, wouldn't you have seen where he fell? There was no ravine. And something happened to Ethan, but what he thinks happened to him? Don't you want to try and get some sleep, honey? I can't. My mind is just... What was in that mine shaft? Where are the people from those cars in the desert? What happened to them? Matt, listen. Tomorrow we'll get your film developed, and then we'll have...
Thanks. Welcome. So how are the kids? Good. Everybody's good. Need some menus? That's it. 